30k subscriber Q&A session in this one. Uh, now before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of the support. Uh, I've been doing this for almost four years now. We've been doing uh, daily uploads for over three and I wouldn't change anything about it. I, I'm just, I'm so grateful and I have a lot of love and appreciation for you guys. Um, we've got an awesome community here, a ton of really cool people um, that I've been able to interact with and have a good time with and yeah, thank you guys. Uh, now we've got over 70 comments to get to with questions, so this might be a bit of a long video, but in any case, thank you guys. This, uh, this one's for you, so I hope you enjoy. But first question here, Swift asks, what is your real job? Um, so I work from home, I work in finance. Uh, I guess what you could sum it up as is like portfolio analysis for large investment banks, so like your, your Goldman Sachs, your Black Rocks, Northern Trust, um, a lot of like the, the big investment firms. Um, I, most of what I do is I work directly like with our clients to um, like track their returns on certain investments, measure their, uh, like see how their portfolios are doing, give them those metrics, um, like yeah, it's a lot of working with the clients on their portfolios. Uh, Sir Emmy Monty asks three questions. What is your favorite fast food and sit down restaurant? Out of all the games you play, which is your favorite and most fun to play? And how many pets do you have? So my favorite fast food, I, I don't eat fast food very often, uh, pretty rare. If I had to pick one, I think I would have to go with Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. It's so good. Um, a sit-down restaurant. I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite. I, lo I just love a good steakhouse. Uh, there's a few of them here. Um, but I wouldn't say I have like a dead-on favorite. Like they're all pretty good. Uh, but yeah, a steakhouse would be my go-to for a sit-down restaurant. Um, so, out of all the games you play, which is your favorite and most fun to play? I would say right now, probably Viva. Probably Viva. Um, yeah, that's my favorite right now. How many pets do you have? I have one, and he is a handful. His name is Finn. A little Australian Shepherd. He's not very little, but he thinks he's a lap dog. He's a good boy. <clears throat> Liam LX says, congrats bro, you deserve it man. Shout out, thank you. And my question is, what is your favorite game ever? Favorite game ever? Would have to be probably Halo 3. Halo 3, that was like, that was like the popular game. Um, like, uh, around the time I was, like, just getting, well, no, I, like, I played it a bunch, um, towards, like, early high school, um, and those are kind of, like, you know, like, the good old days with your friends, gaming and stuff, um, and that one, I've got a lot of memories on that game with friends, so, that's probably my favorite. PR asks seven questions here. Um, are you planning on playing Roblox anytime soon? Maybe. Uh, I haven't hopped on there in a while, but I, I do really enjoy some of the games they have on there, so maybe. 
pretty much like a little bit of everything. Um, so I've got, I've got, when this goes up, the second Florida vlog will be up. Um, and then I've got the honeymoon vlog in the works. And then the moving vlog after that. And just kind of a little bit of everything on there is uh, kind of kind of the goal, I think. Uh, more workout videos anytime soon. Yeah, I could do that. I'm trying to set up a uh, a new home gym in our new our new place. So um, once that's all good to go, yeah, I can do that for sure. I uh, appreciate the questions. Tio two asks, "What's your favorite sport?" My favorite sport is man. I love basketball. But, I think NFL football might be my favorite. Yeah, probably NFL, I think. Uh, Brayden Glenn asks, how's married life going? Hey, thanks for asking, man. It's going great. Uh, it's been awesome, actually. Uh, I'm married to my best friend, so living with her has been, uh, it's been really great, so. Yeah, it's been good. So thank, thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Spoonie says, glad to see one of my favorite ASMR channels growing. Thank you. My question is, how long have you been working out for? I've been working out for about 11, 10, 10 or 11 years. Um, probably about six or seven where I've actually done what I'm doing. Um, I just kind of did whatever when I started, but, um, yeah, actually working out about 10 or 11 years. Um, okay. Mr. Gnome asked, why do ASMR instead of a normal gaming channel? That's a good question. Um, I just, I feel like ASMR kind of fit me more because I'm kind of a soft-spoken guy. Um, just naturally. <laughs> and on top of that, I started watching ASMR when I was like, probably like 13. And like at the time, ASMR was like unheard of. Uh, so I would like watch random videos of like people like putting like little toy cars together or like uh, like unboxing stuff without even thinking it was ASMR. I was just like, wow, this is really cool. <laughs> and I don't know why I liked it so much, but I did. And I just I just kind of fell in love with ASMR. And so that's uh, that's kind of how I got led in this direction. Real Gaming asked, how long have you and your wife been together? Um, oh, she would kill me if I uh, didn't answer this immediately. Um, six and a half years, yeah. We were together four or five years before I proposed, so shout out to her for being so patient. Uh, but yeah, six and a half years at this point, we've been married for... I suck at this. Three months ish. A little under three months. Um, Cook Santa says, Congrats on 30k, may I ask? And I'm sure you've heard this a lot, but how did you get into ASMR? So, that, I mean, that's kind of similar to the other question, but a little bit different. How did I get into it? Um, I don't know. Uh, I just kind of randomly stumbled across it. And it was never like intentional videos when I first started watching it. Um, but I always, I always had trouble sleeping and just kind of chilling out for like two seconds so I could get ready for bed. Um, and, uh, so I, I kind of got hooked early on, but that's how I got into it. Shimi says, will we have more workout videos? You betcha. You betcha. Uh, Juicer's ASMR. Hey, shout out. Juicer. Juicer's ASMR is awesome. 
some of my favorite movies. Um, Django Unchained, awesome. Um, Inglorious Bastards, great movie. Uh, I really love Christoph Waltz. Uh, he was in both of those. So, um, Wolf of Wall Street, love that. Um, so I, I can't think of any others off the top of my head right now. Oh, also, Batman, The Dark Knight, that movie was sick. I still remember going to see it in the movie theater with my dad back in the day. Um, and then TV shows, uh, Ozark, awesome. What are some, like, classic ones? I'm working on Dead to Me right now, which is really good. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Peaky Blinder is probably my favorite TV, like, series of all time. Great show. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's others. I just can't think of them right now. Gustavo Felix asks, what is your day job? And if you do take some, do you plan on leaving it? I would love to, man. That would be awesome. I, I would love nothing more than to uh, just be able to like 100% do YouTube videos. Like, There's so much more content I would love to make if that happened. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope so. That, that would be a dream, but not counting on it. <laughs> but we do have goals, right? So, who knows? Uh, Timmy Neutron says, was there a certain play slash dunk slash crossover that made you say, basketball is the way to go? Yeah. Yeah, there is, actually. There was a, um, Jamal Crawford, uh, he had this shake and bake move, and I think it was, I think it was against the Knicks, I don't remember for sure, but it was absolutely nasty, it was disgusting, uh, it was a crazy move, and it actually made me practice that move. I got pretty good at it, I still am pretty good at it. Not nearly as good as Jamal Crawford. That dude's just got, like, insane, like, God-given uh, handling and just speed and quickness. And Yeah, but love watching that dude play back in the day. Uh, Finchy asks, favorite Premier League team? Uh, so, growing up, uh, I was kind of a Manchester United fan. It takes me back to the, uh, what Viva was it at the time? I think it was 07, where I use them all the time. Um, yeah, that was my favorite growing up. Um, Jason, Jason Panda 4 says, are you going to stream? for games, if yes, then I feel like one every one week or two weeks. Yeah, so that's kind of my goal. Uh, unfortunately, with how much I work, I don't have uh, a ton of time for streaming, but I'm trying to, I'm, I've got like my setup ready to go now, so I'm trying to do like once a week or probably once a week would be good, I think. He says, also, will you ever play basketball, IRL, and show us not in a short, in a video? Uh, maybe, like a full video, yeah, but I, I always play outside, and it's a little too cold for that right now, unfortunately. But yeah, I can do that. Moses Garcia, a shout out. Great dude, love that dude. Um, he said, I'm so proud of you, LP. You're incredible, my guy. He asks, have you ever had a hole-in-one? No. No, I haven't. Um, the, clo 
closest I've gotten was about two inches from the pen, and it might have gone in. It was a par three. Uh, I think it was, yeah, par three, 140 yards, pitching wedge, but it had rained early in the morning, so the greens were very soft and wet, so that thing, like, I kid you not, that ball, it went, like, straight up. It was just a beautiful shot. I thought it was going in. I really did. That thing came down two inches from the pin, stuck right in its own divot, didn't move. I had to, like, actually lift the ball out of its own crater. It was wild, but, yeah, about two inches from the pin. That's, that's the closest I've gotten. I've had, I've had, uh, quite a few, like, chip-ins for, like, birdies and stuff, but no, no hole-in-ones. Moses also asks, how do you like your steak, and how, how rare have you gone? Uh, I've gone pretty, pretty rare, um, like, pretty red. I think, uh, typically, I like it about medium. I, I don't like it, like, super rare. Um, but I have gone pretty, it doesn't bother me. I just prefer it a, a little bit more done. A tiny bit more, not too done. I don't like well done, that's too much. Uh, but about medium for me. Um, Moses also asks, what advice would you give to someone who's planning to create content? My best advice, number one, find something you love. Uh, if you're just doing it for the money, or like to get a following, it's it's never gonna work out. Like I've been able to do ASMR for so long because I enjoy making the videos. I I never get tired of making them. I never like oh my god, I gotta make a video, you know. Um, so I would say number one, find something you you're like really passionate about. Even if you don't think that you would have much of a following, like, I think, like, to me, seeing people who are passion passionate about whatever they're doing, like, that's just interesting to me, and I think that would be enough to where um, you could really stick with that thing that you really enjoy. Um, and then the second advice I would make is create an upload schedule. Um, so whether it's every day, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or like on the weekends or something, uh, that's what helped me out a bunch was making a schedule, sticking to it, then um, your subs subscribers know like when to expect an, a video. They're not like, uh, I say this, but this is exactly what I've done on the cooking channel. I've just kind of gone a while without posting, which I suck, but um, yeah, I think, I think having a schedule is also very, very important, and yeah, just have fun, just enjoy it, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good time, so uh, whatever you, whatever you do, as long as you go all in, you'll be successful just a matter of time. Uh, Tragic Dumpster asks, what is Finn's favorite activity? Finn's favorite activity is following me around. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, running. He loves to go on runs. And I would say like playing with a ball, but he loves to chase the ball. Um, but then he just leaves it and then comes back and you have to go get the ball for him and throw it again uh, But yeah, probably running He just loves to be outside uh, Cameron Redden says congrats man. I'm so happy to see that the channel is growing I've been with you since about 10k so love to see it. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Thank you, man. That's
that's a long time, man. Thank you. Uh, my question is, what is your favorite sport and why? Yeah, I think, I think I would have to stick with NFL here. And I think what really gets me into it is fantasy football. And uh, having a friend group where we all just like talk trash to each other. But uh, it makes you a lot more invested in the games. And yeah, I just, I love it. My runner up would be, would be basketball. I wish, I wish soccer was on more TV more here. But it, Herbs says, congrats on 30k. My question is, what is your dream car? I'm a massive car guy, so I always like hearing people's answer. Good question. Dream car. So if I, if I could just get whatever I wanted. Jaden Flynn 
and stocks and stuff and um, we kind of just like talk about different ones that we would invest in and whatever and um, that's kind of like what started my interest in finance in general and then I just kind of went for it so
single player game, man, that's, that's a tough one. Maybe, maybe GTA. Maybe GTA. Maybe like the road back to Skyrim or something. I don't know. What would you take? I don't know. Um, so H W R T E R H W S. Are you invested in crypto slash start stock market? Yes, yes, I am. Not crypto. Um, uh, crypto is a little too volatile for me. Um, so I just stick to what I'm familiar with, and that is the stock market. Uh, congrats, man, says Michael Fam. My question is, are caramel, are caramel candies your favorite, and when did you start eating them? And I started eating them when I was like a kid. Um, they're one of my favorites. Uh, there's this other one. It's like, um, gosh, what is it? It's like a little fruitier. It's got like a, it's got like a swirl on it. But they're so good. I have to get some of those. I will get some of those. I have to find them. I completely forgot about them till just now. But yeah, caramel candies. Love them. Um, Tabby77 says, congrats on 30k. Love the channel and content you post. Thank you. Uh, if you could only play one video game for the rest of your life, what one and why? Wow. That's deep. That's really deep. I would probably Oh man, I'm I might say two K here, honestly. Um and the reason why is because that's a game that I always enjoy playing with friends um so if i had to be like stuck with one forever i would probably do that because like, like all the other games like call of duty i would lose my mind bro i would like break so many controllers if that's all i could play um same thing with like fortnite gta uh fifa yeah definitely if i'm playing fud non-stop oh my gosh i would lose it and then, yeah, I mean, yeah, probably 2K. Uh, Shortyberg says, I remember one video you mentioned that you played soccer. What position did you play? I played a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, I played a little bit of everything. I, I played, I was really good at goalie growing up. Um, a lot of the time I wanted to play forward, but, um, I usually, like, split time, so, like, half, half of the game I would be in goal, and the other half I would be up top. Uh, I played a little bit of midfield as well, and even defense, which was weird. Um, but I don't know, I was just, uh, like, my anticipation back in the day was like really good um so that's kind of why they put me on defense for a little bit but i kind of played all over a little bit of everything i just had like not to be annoying i had like a very strong leg like very strong leg um so i mean if i got a free kick at midfield i was shooting it 100 percent I did score, like, quite a few, <laughs> which is just dumb, but, um, yeah, I played a little bit of everything. Star XY says, hype stop LP, congrats, thank you. My question is, if you could purchase a house anywhere in the world, where would it be? Honestly, like, there are so many cool places you could pick. And I wish I could say that I would pick one of those. But if I can purchase a house anywhere in the world, I'll buy a house in Pensacola, Pensacola, Florida. Um, it's
it's just the coolest little beach town and it's a, like a really like sentimental area for me. Uh, my brother got married there. I got I got engaged there, uh, proposed to my wife on the beach there. Um, and we did our we did our bachelor slash bachelorette trip to Pensacola and uh, I just I love that place so much. Um, so that would be it. Um, Lagaluga says or asks, "Will you ever be live on Twitch?" Nope. No. If uh, if I'm live, it'll be on YouTube. I just have no interest at all in getting on Twitch. To be honest, I just have no interest. I'm sorry. Uh, I I was never into Twitch. Um, I would prefer to just stick to. says, do you ever want to branch out to different genres of ASMR? What are the different genres? Do you mean like role plays and like, um, what are the different ones? I mean, there's like all kinds of different ones, but not really, not really. I mean, I've done like video game store role plays in the past on here. And I might do more of those, to be honest, because they're fun. They're different. Um, but I, I don't really like want to branch too far outside of ASMR gaming. I, I mean, I do have the ASMR cooking channel. Um, but yeah, so if I did like role plays or anything, it would kind of have to be around gaming somehow.
sure. Um, and that's it. I don't know how long this video has been, but that was a lot of questions. I, I'm pretty sure we got to all of them. If I missed any, I, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I try to get to all of them. Um, so if I, if I did skip over any, that was not on purpose, and I do apologize for that, but yeah, I mean, like, that's all we got. That's, I mean, that's gonna wrap up a 30k Q&A special. That, that was fun. That was a good time. I think the next one we'll do a live stream. I think that would be more fun. And I could just, like, answer, like, on the fly while we play a game or something, but... That, uh, that'll do it for this one, guys. Pretty worn out. Uh, most of the time, like in these long videos, I'll have gum or something so my mouth doesn't get too dry, but uh, I did not have that for this one. That was, a, that was a big mistake on my part. But yeah, again, thank you guys so much, first of all, for 30k subscribers, and second of all, for all the comments questions, and third of all, just for the support, man, I appreciate all of you, um, so, let's keep going, let's, uh, let's hit 40k, maybe 50, let's set a goal for next year, let's say 50k, I'm gonna make some, like, fire content for next year, for sure, let's say 50k is a goal, I, th I think we can do that, I think that's doable, but, 30k, that's pretty solid, feels good, but that is going to wrap this one up, guys. As always, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was relaxing, and if you did like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.